Hi, welcome back. Um, it has been about three weeks since I took my COVID test and I've been meaning to update y'all a lot sooner. Things have just been really busy around here along with us being sick. Um, and for those of you who don't know, I tried to re reply to most of the comments, but I did test positive for COVID. Um, so it's, we've really been trying to, you know, take it easy around here along with continuing to run our business. So we had also been pretty good at social distancing for the most part, taking precautions as needed, but we're pretty sure, um, Someone tested positive at my husband's work and it was that same week when we started feeling bad. So we're almost positive he got it from work. So there's really nothing we could do to prevent it other than him not go to work. I took the test at CVS and it took about 16 days to get the test results back, which I felt was a really long time. Um, to get results back um, but I understand I live in Georgia so it's it's like a hot spot here so I use CVS but they send it out through Quest so I, they were just backed up so pretty much by the time I got my test results back I was through everything um, and I was pretty much in the safe zone to leave the house um, although it took my test 16 days to get back one of my viewers commented that they went through CVS and it only took three days to get their results back. Um, so I'm not going to knock CVS because they were able to get theirs back. But if you're in a hurry to get those test results back, to get back to work, I don't know. That's just my experience. It took 16 days. Okay, so out of our family of five most harshly affected my husband and I. Um, our seven month old baby did break out in a rash and was kind of fussy um, about the same week that my husband and I were both sick. So that could be it for him uh, or it could just, I mean, be something that he's allergic to. But he did break out in a rash the same week. My eight year old and my four year old no symptoms, nothing, acted fine the entire time. So when I first started getting sick, to be honest, I had no idea it would have been COVID. I would have never expected for it to be COVID. Um, when I first started getting sick, I was just really sleepy. And at first I thought it was just me being lazy because as a stay at home mom, sometimes I stay up late, I get up late, um, it's just a bad habit of mine. So I just thought I was staying up too late at night. So then the very next day I went to bed at like eight and I didn't want to get out of bed till almost noon. And then when I did, I got up, made myself some coffee, sat down and I was ready to go back to sleep. And that's when it hit me. Something's wrong. This isn't normal. This isn't just me being lazy. Like something's wrong. All I want to do is sleep. I have three kids. I can't sleep all the time, but I knew something was wrong. <laughs> I mean, I just wanted to sleep. The whole sleep part of it lasted about an entire week or that's all I wanted to do is sleep. That was really my first symptom. And you think, I mean, who's gonna think they have COVID when they just sleep a little more, not me. Then my second symptom appeared was the chest tightness. And it was worse in the morning. I feel like laying down all night, stuff building up in my chest. When I would wake up in the morning, it was really hard to breathe. Um, I, n I wouldn't say it was trouble breathing, but to take a deep breath was almost impossible. But if I'm sitting down, not exerting energy, I was fine. But if I needed to take a deep breath or was trying to get all the kids in the car, I would get out of breath. And even when that second symptom of my chest tightness, I thought it could be, have been bronchitis. I have had to go to the hospital because of bronchitis before. I was just, I couldn't breathe to walk across the room. And I had to go get 
a breathing treatment. So even then I just assumed it could have been something like that with a history of it. And then here's where it comes in. This is when I knew. My husband and I were out and I needed food. So I'm like, just go through the Chick-fil-A drive through get me something. And I, I bit into my chicken sandwich and I couldn't taste it. I, all I could taste was salt. And that's when I knew. I'm like, I don't taste anything. I'm, I can feel it in my mouth, but I can't taste it. That was pretty much my confirmation and when I decided to go get tested. And about that same time, my husband was like, I can't taste my food either. And we knew. So I had fatigue, chest tightness, can't smell or taste. Um, I did have some chills and some muscle aches, but that was very minor. Didn't last very long at all. I never had a fever. I never had a cough, which I thought was two major requirements in order to test positive for COVID. I mean, I know there's asymptomatic, but I always, I kept hearing cough, fever, cough, fever, but I didn't get either. My husband on the other hand, he was really sleepy like I was, but he had a terrible cough. I did not have a cough. He had a terrible, terrible, terrible cough. Um, and he lost sense of taste, sense of smell. That was pretty much it for him. None of us had fevers, not even close. Um, my t average temperature is like 97.8. And so usually when I start getting sick and I know I'm getting a fever, I get 98, which is someone's normal temperature. Mine just so happens to be 97. So not even did it reach 98 at all. So no fever, nothing like that. Um, and I want to thank everyone who commented on that video giving me tips of how to get through it. Um, I do want to address that a lot of the recommendations were removed or deleted and it was not by me. Um, I guess YouTube has some kind of policy where they don't allow it because pretty much any of the recommendations are taken down um, and I did not do it. Please don't hate me because it was not my fault. I did go back and try to reference some of those because my chest was hurting so bad. And then when I went to go look for them, they were gone. So I don't know why they were taken down, but it was all YouTube. I had nothing to do with it. So as far as treatments for it, thank God we did not have to go to the emergency room or the hospital. We were able to manage it at home. Um, I took some aspirin a couple times because I heard that it helped kill the virus and I also drink a lot of hot liquid. Um, my husband, I think he took some Dayquil or something like that, um, but I, I don't think he did anything other than that. Um, so think, like I said, thank God we made it through it. I know this affects everyone differently, so please stay safe. I'm just letting you know how it went for our family. Um, I'm not trying to say this is the way everyone does, but I just wanted to give you our side, um, let you know what happened, um, but still stay safe, please. One last thing, if this is your first time to my channel, please like, please subscribe. Um, I typically do day in the life. Um, fun mommy hacks, lots of shopping hauls. Um, so please stick around. Thanks.